Uh, well, we found the spot uh, the way most light painting goes by driving around and keeping an eye out. The best spots to find are the most mysterious ones. The weirdness factor is like what I live for. Then you hear some weird noise and you're like, doing the shot anyways. Yeah, this is my own set. Like, I don't go to a prop studio. I like get find the props, do what I want to them to make it look how I want to. The inspiration's here. The concept is like good versus evil fighting over this like one united force. So we have kind of an interesting shape here. We have this circle structure at the top. I'm gonna um, do light men. Be like the guards of this place. Uh, I got the light suit. I got this homemade like sort of hoodie. Christmas light deal, and then the flashlight to light my body. Right here, I'm kind of like choosing my colors. Purple, red. I'm gonna go with this, I think. I think this is gonna be the best, the yellow and the blue. It's overexposed. Yeah, it's not quite there. <laughs> I just wasted like six minutes. I know Dana's doing something crazy right now. Well, I better uh, get this one. All right, ready? Kill that light. This is like uh, dystopia. Some abandoned, like, ghost town, uh, apocalypse area. Uh, Cause that's what it feels like. You can walk into these spots and no one's gonna bother you the whole time, usually. And uh, you like go in, do whatever you want, make it look super crazy sci-fi, and then you get back in the car and like everything's normal again. So it's like an alternate reality. Uh, yeah, I got one good shot. That was whatever. That one's whatever. This one's good. Can you kill that light again, please?